Never in my entire time on this earth would I imagine something like this would happen in my lifetime. So yes, today's video is on the Call of Duty collaboration with Mobile Suit Gundam. But before my <laughs> we get into the uh, details, I have to uh, collect myself because I can't believe this is even real. I couldn't even fathom it. I couldn't even fathom 10 years ago, younger me would even imagine that we would even be at this point where Bandai Namco would even collaborate with the likes of Call of Duty, with how big Call of Duty is. So move over Fortnite, the big boys are coming. With that said, I'm obviously kidding, but uh, we have some news courtesy of Bandai Namco and, well, of course, Activision Blizzard, since this is a big collaboration between the two, and, well, it's been a while since I've played any Call of Duty, but I am not so far detached that I don't know what I'm dealing with. So, basically, as part of the sort of Season 4 additions that are coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and as well as uh, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, to differentiate from the normal Call of Duty Mobile, Mobile Suit Gundam is doing a collaboration with Call of Duty, as I mentioned, um, basically in the form of three tracer packs and a special event. Now, you'll probably be seeing some really cool screenshots already, but we have the grandpa, the OG, the showrunner of the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise, the RX-78 II, which basically is a operator skin in Call of Duty. It's going to have three blueprints for Gundam Tracers, basically weapon effects, as well as some malfunction dismemberment effects, basically death animations. Uh, you're going to have a calling card, which is kind of like a little banner emblem for your player. Anybody that's played Call of Duty before knows what that is. <laughs> it's really weird kind of recollecting on that. We also have a special emblem, which they haven't disclosed what that looks like. I can imagine that being like Amro's little emblem, or maybe even the white-based uh, unicorn emblem. It's gonna have two special loading screens, two weapon stickers, weapon charms as well as a large decal, and the new type finisher, which is basically uh, a takedown animation, and I believe in the screenshots that you see, it's gonna be the Iconic Saber Slash from the opening first episode of Mobile Suit Gundam, the 1979 OG animation, which has been reanimated and redone so many different times, it's probably right behind and alongside the last shooting animation too. But that's not all, you can't have the iconic Gundam without its main antagonist, the Zaku 2, but this is not just any Zaku 2, we have Shars Zaku 2, which also has its own tracer pack, bundle, you know, blueprints, tracer, weapon effects. Uh, the, the, the whole nine yards, if you will. And it has a sla searing slash finishing move. I'm guessing they had some limitations on what they could do with the operators. I know a lot of people might be thinking, well, if you're gonna have Shar Zaku in here, why not the iconic soccer kick that he's known for? Well, honestly, I would have been settled with a jump kick because of that, but, you know, I guess limited time animations, you, you name it, but that also is in there too. And then last but not least, we have the Gundam Ariel from Witch from Mercury. Um, like the other preview two packs, it'll have its own uh, blueprints with aerial tracers, uh, malfunction dismemberment, calling card, emblem, charms, decals, stickers, and loading screens as well. But that's not all, because there's going to be a special event called Mobile Suit Gundam Legends that starts on June 5th and ends on June 19th, where you can earn some really cool XP and I believe some of these skins as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so the event will be free and it includes cosmetics and weapon blueprint. Um, so really cool stuff. You'll also be able to get the iconic gun, gun cannon push, which will be available through the in-game event. And using any of the operator skins will grant an XP bonus for the event as well. So I'm assuming some sort of like battle pass deal. Um, but man, 
This is, uh, this is pretty cool to see in my lifetime, this level of collaboration. You know, this is as strange and awkward as this might seem. This is, like, a few steps forward in, uh, making Gundam very much more mainstream than it already has been already. So, let's go look at some of these things already. I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be seeing these screenshots and everything cycled through for a while now. And I can tell you for a fact that with the limitation of them sort of, uh, in a way, like adding on to sort of a silhouette for the operators that this is pretty cool. I know a lot of people are saying that, oh yeah, they're cosplaying on there. I'm like, yeah, it's, it may be that, but like at the same time, like the upper half from like the shoulders up, this is actually pretty cool. It's pretty clean for the most part. I mean, granted, I could nitpick about like the legs and everything, but at the same time, like just seeing that is, uh, it's pretty neat. I will certainly say that, uh, I, I wouldn't be lying if I wasn't tempted to come back to try playing COD for this. Even even though, like, my days of playing any, any sort of Call of Duty is done and over with, just because, uh, not that I can't hang, it's just, uh, well, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. But, for the most part, staying on topic, uh, this is really, really, really neat, and I'm very looking forward <laughs> To seeing a lot more of what they reveal with the tracer packs as well as the really really cool event that comes along with this as well so i want to know what you guys think about this whole ordeal the whole grandpa gundam zaku you know which from mercury collaboration with the likes of call of duty um i know a lot of people have some very strong opinions about <laughs> having this included in the likes of a franchise such as Call of Duty, but at the same time, like, I feel like this is a really big win overall for the franchise. It opens up to folks that are still not very familiar with Mobile Suit Gundam, but at the same time, like, for the folks that are and happen to play Call of Duty, like, it's no one business. It's... it's definitely a win. It's gonna be really cool. Now, does that mean we're gonna get some sort of, uh, you know, Gundam FPS game again. I don't know, we'll see, but uh, that's it for now. This is not really news, but this is something that came across my desk. I just wanted to discuss this a little bit but uh, and let you guys know that uh, I think this is pretty cool for the most part. Uh, but uh, until next time, guys, I will see you guys all on the next video. Take care.